Intro Intro <laughs> Intro 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 <laughs> Well uh welcome to this video we're reacting to this uh, patient zero victims video for some reason it's uh, it's an old ass video and uh, you know dudes uh, one of our uh, subscribers he, he sent me this video to react to and stuff and I, let's watch it let's watch it i don't even know i don't all know. deadly okay. epidemics have an epicenter a single person who first caught the disease before spreading it to others or in other words patient zero here we present to you the patient zero victims of the deadliest epidemics in the world okay patient zero it's like uh, it's like the first patient right Oh my god. Am I am I am I an idiot? Patient 0 is 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 bunk and ha harsh for a person who is proclaimed to be the first nobody will ever know. Yeah. Okay. Oh motherfucker, what the fuck was that? That's not that's not cool. That's not cool. Number 9. Gaetan Duga. The term Patient Zero originated from Gaetan Duga, a man who for years was believed to be the man who brought HIV to the US. Duga. Wait, wait, how did HIV even start? Do people even know how HIV started? Wasn't it like from someone fucking a monkey or something? I don't know. Was a flight attendant working for Air Canada and was diagnosed with AIDS in the early 80s. The disease was first clinically observed among the gay community in the US in 1981. In 1984, yeah. <laughs> the CDC conducted a study to try to track down its origins in the country. They traced the sexual. He said gay. Ha ha ha. ...of infected wow. gay and bisexual men in New York and California and came to the conclusion that Gaetan Duga was the end. <laughs> <laughs> His name is gay as well. Gate. That's very childish of me. Wait, Mr. Wilson fucked a monkey and caused. It's not me, it's Gate Han Dugas. Okay? <laughs> he, he's. He's Next gay. Case responsible Dugas. for carrying the HIV virus, presumably from Europe. Duga was referred to as Patient O, the O standing for outside of California. However, it was later read as the number zero, leading to the origin of the term Patient Zero for all index patients who start epidemics of any disease. Gaetan himself died. Okay, so 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 patient zero is 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 a person who starts the 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 disease. How could someone track where the virus came from? It's impossible to find the original source. Looking at the virus itself, I think patient zero is the person, the first person that they detect to have the virus or something, right? I mean, it's not like I don't know, man. This is this is it's kind of. I don't know, how, how, how would you? How would you? in 1984, but his name lived on as the man who gave the AIDS to the US. Ironically, the original patient zero turned out not to be a real patient zero at all, according to what? a study published very recently in September 2016. Why is, why is there fucking freaky music in the background? Like, it's like, it's they're talking about gay sex, man. What the fuck? HIV had arrived to New York City as early as 1970 and was linked to existing cases in Haiti and other countries in the Caribbean. Number eight. Nah, nah. So he's not the patient. Isn't that the point of the video? What the fuck kind of video is this? Isn't that the point of the video? Like, is is the is the first person? Typhoid Mary. Typhoid fever is a nasty bacterial disease spread by the digestion of food and water contaminated yeah. with an infected person's feces or urine. Symptoms include vomiting, diarrhea, and a terrible rash. However, there are those who exhibit no symptoms at all. These people call some some sources suggest that HIV is a man-made virus. Yo, what is that thing about about uh, HIV coming from uh, from fucking monkeys and shit? That, that that's the thing as well. Yes, that's what I've been laughing at. His name is his name is Gaetan. 
<laughs> you should look up the history of chemical and Hot biological weapons. Yo, could be. It Our could be. HIV could be. Could to eliminate the uh, to eliminate the gatons of the... <laughs> unsuspectingly spread the disease to others. The That's most too famous immature, of typhoid too carriers immature. is Mary Stop Mallon. It. Mary was okay. originally from Ireland and worked as a cook for wealthy families in New York City after immigrating to the U.S. It was the early 20th century and typhoid was mainly a problem in poor communities. But thanks to typhoid Mary, as she would later be known as, rich people got sick with the disease as well. She worked for multiple families throughout the years, and all of them got sick eating her cooking. She managed to avoid detection many times, as when investigators came, she had already moved to- Why? I, I fail to fucking understand. Okay, the woman was patient zero. Okay, as per this video and stuff, okay? What's up with the fucking creepy ass music in the background? What the work at a different house. Mary was eventually caught in 1907 with the help of a freelance sanitary engineer who was hired by her landlord to search for the source of the outbreak infecting his household. After testing positive for typhoid, she was quarantined on North Brother Island, a tiny island east of Manhattan. After three years, Mary was released on the condition that she'd not work as a cook anymore. She ignored the warning and took a cooking job at a women's hospital. Bruh, 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 there's something. <laughs> Causing another typhoid outbreak, police caught her, and this time she was permanently incarcerated. What, did, what the fuck is this video? What the fuck is this video? Insert stock <laughs> image here. Yeah. She died in 1938, <laughs> and an auto. Nah, like, why would she? Topsy found evidence of live typhoid bacteria in her. She had a sense of humor. <laughs> Number seven, patient <laughs> cholera, patient zero. The 2010 Haiti earthquake was a disaster of epic proportions, resulting in the death of over 100,000 civilians and billions of dollars in damages to the already poverty-stricken country. The Haitians' terrible mis- we're speed running to zero subscribers, okay? We're not Fortune getting seemed to know no end as a terrible cholera outbreak immediately followed the earthquake. Almost undoubtedly, researchers claimed the first person to contract the illness was a 28-year-old mentally ill man from the town of Meyer Ballet. Okay, okay. The first person to contract the illness was a 20-year-old man. Now, so I've, I've given you this fact, right? What the fuck is up with the creepy music? Why? Like, get, get, get and set to put the scary music. The man, who was known as the village's crazy person, oh often walked stark naked through the town to clean himself at a river which drained sewage waste from okay. a UN encampment nearby <laughs> that housed Nepali peacekeepers. That encampment is believed to be the source as Haiti's cholera epidemic is that of a Nepali strain. The mentally ill man developed severe diarrhea in late 2010 and died within a day. The men who dealt with his body also fell ill shortly, and soon the cholera bacteria had spread to the entire town. I call BS on this whole fucking video. I call BS on this whole fucking video. How do you know how a virus originated? Okay? You can never know patient zero. Okay, that's just, I call, I call this whole and fucking even video bullshit. Dominican Republic, the Haitian cholera problem is still ongoing today, with over 700,000 locals known to have contracted the disease, with the death toll reaching nine. Pa Yo, Papa, have you heard about the subscription purge going down? So many people are reporting thousands of... Yo, please, subscri subscription purge happened to me. Like, just, just, just get rid of all of my inactive subscribers, okay? Get rid of, like, you know, 10 to 15,000 of my inactive subscribers. I don't fucking need them in my life. 9,000. Number 6. Mabelo Lakela. Ebola is one of the worst infectious diseases okay. of this century. For the past few years, the disease has devastated West Africa and caused waves of panic across the world, with several cases occurring outside the African continent. Ebola still has no cure or vaccine, and thousands of infected individuals have died suffering massive internal hemorrhage. The disease is named after the Ebola River, which flows near a small village named Yambuku in the Democratic Republic of Congo. In 1976, a teacher there by the name of Mabalo Lakela got extremely sick after returning from a
dudes, what kind of videos do you watch, man? The fuck is this, man? This, this, this is. The fuck is this, man? A trip outside the village. He was initially treated as a case of malaria, but got continuously worse and bled profusely from all orifices, including his eyes, mouth, and nose. He died in less than two weeks. <laughs> I like how the dude's tone is so monotone. Okay, it's like it's like you know he died in less than two weeks, and she had emotional stress, and she was. It's like. Fortunately for the man? villagers, the Ebola virus lived on, having already infected other people close to Mebelo. 21 of his friends and relatives. Yes, this is not educational at all. This is, this is like, you know, this is, this is uh, the worst Ill, video I've ever seen. Of them died. You know what? Sadly, 11 of the 17 of Yambuku hospital staff also died, forcing the hospital to be closed. Outside assistance was sought, and experts managed to identify and produce the first ever description of the Ebola virus and the disease it caused. In all, 280 deaths had been recorded in the outbreak. Number 5. Dr. Liu. We're still on number 5? We're still on fucking number 5? John Lin. Severe acute respiratory syndrome, or SARS, starts like a typical flu, but would rapidly develop into a critical case of pneumonia and eventually death from respiratory failure. We might not hear of any more cases of SARS today, but the viral disease was seen as a serious threat to the global population in 2003, with a total of 774 reported deaths in it's so fucked up. I'm using their video. 37 countries. The disease was first identified in Guangdong in southern China, and the local government did all they could to contain and eliminate the disease before it spread. A medical doctor identified as... What's so creepy about a Chinese man? Why, is, why do they have this music in the background? <laughs> but like, Dr. Liu John Lin from mainland China unknowingly called the infection and traveled to <laughs> Hong Kong in 2003. Been? There, he resided in the <laughs> Metropole Hotel in Kowloon and infected 16 <laughs> other hotel guests. Those people <laughs> then traveled Canada. outside the country, heading to Canada, Singapore, okay. Taiwan, and Vietnam, causing further spread of SARS to those locations, turning it into a global pandemic. Dr. Liu was reported to have succumbed to the disease, dying from respiratory failure. Although originating from mainland China, Hong Kong ended up with the majority of Talk image of Chinese people watching, <laughs> and there's fucking horror music yeah, in the, the background. Victims. Thankfully, the global <laughs> like they're fucking marching to <laughs> kill someone. was finally contained, and no SARS cases have been reported <laughs> since 2004. <laughs> what the fuck are these doctors looking at, man? What the fuck are these doctors looking at? Like for real? For real? Like what? What is this? What is this? Or Number four. This is fucking stock image, Andy. <laughs> Edgar Enrique Hernandez. <laughs> In the remote village of La Gloria in Mexico stands a bronze statue of a smiling five year old boy. The sub. <laughs> he sounds like a guy from Burger King put lettuce. Yes. Project is a real life boy named Edgar Enrique Hernandez, also known as Nino Cero or Kid Zero, survivor and first person recognized to have contracted the infant. That's that's a name. This new strain of H1N1 virus known okay. as swine flu. The disease spread wide in 2009, causing a worldwide okay. influenza pandemic that killed over 14,000 people. It all started in early 2009 when many villagers in La Gloria fell ill in a short period of a few weeks, including two babies who died. Little I'm not I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing at the babies dying or anything. It's like, you know, I'm just imagining how would this guy, you know, be, you know, how would this guy like he's so fucking monotone. Like for example, how would he talk to his, you know, like, like how would he hit on a girl? Hello, today I want to hit on you. I like your ass. 
Your ass is very beautiful. It's Edgar was among the first <laughs> to get sick, and later investigations <laughs> confirmed the sickness plaguing the village to be the work of a new strain of H1N1 virus, with Edgar as a possible patient zero. Luckily, the five-year-old survived his ordeal, having recovered bullshit fully with bullshit. no lasting complications. Bullshit. Number three. Number three. Number three. Finally. In December 2013. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. It's a black kid. The kid probably doesn't, you know, have access to water or anything, you know. Africa, it's, uh, you know. Music. A two-year-old Guinean village boy named Emil Wamano suddenly got seriously ill and died four days later. His other family members followed suit, starting by his older sister, then their pregnant mother, then grandmother, and then a number of villagers. Researchers now believe that that village, deep in the forests of Guinea, was the source of the Ebola virus epidemic that ravaged West Africa for the next two years. Okay. An epidemic that ravaged uh, uh, Africa. Years and little know, Emil was patient zero. He is theorized to have contracted the disease while playing like near him. a tree that housed Ebola-infected free-tail bats. Starting from Guinea, the Ebola virus spread across borders like wildfire, hitting neighboring Liberia, Sierra Leone, Senegal, Mali, and Nigeria. When the epidemic ended in early 2016, over 11,000 lives were lost and left about. It's like it's like it's like somebody told him, you know, make a video of home still about side effects that. and the form of muscle and joint pain, blindness, and various neurological problems. The outbreak oh. is considered the most widespread Ebola virus epidemic I'm in sorry, history. I'm sorry, I can't just get over that. And caused millions more to suffer. But not many know of the Spanish flu pandemic, which started in the final year of the war. The deadly influenza outbreak lasted for three years and resulted in the deaths of more people than the war. Between 50 to 100 million infected people died, which was around 3 to 5 percent of the entire world's population. <laughs> it all began <laughs> when Private Albert Gitchell, a company cook at a U.S. Army base in Kansas, reported to the sick bay, he had developed a terrible cough, and before the medics had quarantined him, other soldiers in the camp had already. Wait, been look at the look at the like dislike ratio on this. People fucking love this video. The guy can read a recipe of cookies and still. <laughs> Fun fact, this is also recommended to you in 2020. Ebola is one of the most infectious diseases of the century. <laughs> Corona, okay, okay. That's uh, him, that's patient zero, the random person enjoying the bats. <laughs> Dude, Typhoid Mary had just washed her hands after she took shits and she uh, wouldn't have infected so many people yes <laughs> been infected by noon over a hundred soldiers who ate the food Gitchel prepared the night the legend of gay tan before had the fallen ill in less than a week the virus has spread to new york <laughs> oh my god i should be reacting to the video and stuff but like Oh my god, where is it? Where is it? Get it! Get it! For carrying the HIV virus, gay, tom gay and bisexual men in New York and California, and came to the conclusion that Gaetan Duga was the end. <laughs> the real reason we have sex <laughs> The deadly influenza outbreak lasted for three years and resulted in the deaths of more people than the war. Between 50 to 100 million infected people died, which was around 3 to 5 percent of the entire world's population. It all began when Private Albert Gitchell, a company cook at a U.S. Army base in Kansas, reported to the sick bay he had developed a terrible cough. And before Please the Google Gaitan. Hey, wait, let me, let me, let me Google Gaitan. But I can't, I can't do it right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right here. Okay, Google gate hand. So you guys can't, can see what, what gate hand results. Gate hand, the guys. There he is, man. The legend, gate hand himself.
get an Reads as shit. Listen, watch my video. Okay, 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 okay. We'll watch it. We'll watch it. Had quarantined them. Other soldiers in the camp had already been infected. By noon, over a hundred soldiers who ate the food Gitchell prepared the night before had fallen ill. In less than a week, the virus. Mm, let's watch this one. Let's watch this one now. Okay, okay. Well, uh, that's it for the. No, let's let's York finish this. Over the next few let's months, finish. Let me talk to you guys some the more. Atlantic, inflicting both sides of the war at the European theater. Due to Spain not being involved in the war, they imposed a wartime censorship. I don't know. I'm not even. I'm not even watching the video at this point. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm gonna put this reaction out there. Okay, and uh, b b it's out there. You click on it. You like it and uh, subscribe. We're speed running to a zero subscribers, so subscribe. Uh, yeah. Leading to greater press.